What's up? What's up? It's your man, Jimmy Chan. All right. So I need to find the domain, the range, the intercepts, and if there is any symmetry. So the domain is all the possible X values. And this is a closed interval because you see that there's a dot there and a dot there. So this is just a closed interval, right? So all the X values from here all the way to here are included. So in terms of my domain, I'm going from negative pi to positive pi and includes pi. My range is all possible y values. Well, that's going to negative 1 all the way up to positive 1. Oops. And it's touching those, so it's going to have to be square brackets as well. Okay. Now, in terms of intercepts, right, I have a y-intercept. And that is at 0, 0. I have x-intercepts. And that's going to be at negative pi, 0. It's going to be at negative pi halves, 0. It's going to be at 0, 0. It's going to be at pi halves, 0. And it's going to be at pi, 0. OK? So those are all my intercepts. Now, in terms of symmetry, if you look at this graph, if I was to take this point here and flip it over the x-axis, I would end up here. There's no point here, so no good. If I took this point and flip it over the y-axis, it should be right here. There's no point right there. So that's why there's no symmetry about the x-axis nor the y-axis. However, if I took this point right here, right, which is positive pi fours and negative one, if I negate both of them, it'd be negative pi fours and positive one, which there is a point there. So this has symmetry. about the origin. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be choice B. And there we go. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. See ya. Bye.